Stop caretaking. Hello, this is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with another book review. As you know, because enlightenment and waking up does not solve all your problems, does not take away all your psychological issues, I'm a big fan of trauma therapy. And there's a very good book. My friend Tom recommended to me. It's called Stop Caretaking. Stop Caretaking the Borderliner or Narcissist. How to End the Drama and Get On with Your Life. By Margulis Fjellstad. Sounds a Scandinavian the name, but she's from Fort Collins, Colorado. And she's a therapist. And the book is very, very good. Even if you're not a borderliner or narcissist or caretaker, it's very well worth reading. Why? As we know from videos and books by Gabor Mate, Richard Grennan, Sam Vaknin and others, you don't have to be a borderliner or narcissist to exhibit borderliner or narcissist traits because of the whole society is like that. The whole society is like that and maybe your parents were like that or one of your parents. And so what we do as children is imitate and we imitate narcissists. And we become like them to some degree without being narcissists or any other cluster B personality disorder ourselves. So, this book is very good because many people who are interested in the spiritual path had had very uncomfortable experiences with narcissists and other cluster B personality disorders. So the first half of the book, or let's say the first f third of the book, is... Um, more about borderliners and narcissists so that you understand how they tick. And then she goes into how caretakers tick. And she uses the term caretaker, but it's actually you can use other terms like helper syndrome, codependency and so on. There might be small differences, but in essence, it's very similar. And in spirituality, this whole savior complex is also coming up more and more. And instead of, of saving yourself, you're trying to save others. Just as so many people who study psychology, they actually want to save and heal themselves. So they learn how to heal others with more or less success. Unfortunately, when you study psychology, you neither learn the old basics like Jung and Freud and Adler and so on, nor the new stuff like this. Um, it's not part of the syllabus. No one knows exactly why. It's probably because psychology wants to be a science. So anything that is not quantifiable in numbers and statistics is not being taught in the bachelor or master's degree of psychology. But who cares? You probably don't want to study psychology, you want to look at your own stumbling blocks and hurdles. So this is a book very worth, worth reading, even if you don't think you're a caretaker, or if you don't think you have problems with borderliners and narcissists, or if you don't think that you're a borderliner or narcissist. But this is a book really to understand how society works. Our society has been transformed by psychopaths, borderliners, narcissists, histrionics, and so on, on the one hand, and caretakers and codependents, and so on, on the other hand. So firstly, you will see how many traits of borderliners and narcissists have grown into society and are more or less considered normal now, which they're not. And then 
you read the part about the caretakers and you think, oh shit. Uh, because you realize that, my God, I have more traits of this caretaker personality than I suspected. But you cannot stop caretaking if you don't know that you're caretaking. You cannot stop being codependent if you don't know you're codependent. You cannot stop being a helper or savior if you don't know that you're one. The second half of the other two-thirds of the book are about, are about um, letting go, healing and rebuilding. But only the first part, even if you only read the first uh, 78 pages, that's worth it. And the whole book is about, let me see, I don't know because I, I listened to it as a audio book, but I liked it so much that I bought it as a hard copy as well. It's about 200 pages, but only if you read the first 80 pages or so, it's life-changing. It's really, really, really good, really recommendable. I had never heard of the author, sorry, um, but she's very good. Unfortunately, in the audiobook version, the narrator, the speaker, has a very annoying, monotonous tone, in my view. But after a few minutes, you can, you can get over it. I know you. The first thing you will do, probably, many of you, is to check on YouTube if there are any videos of her. And there are a few. But they don't blow me away. But the book, that blew me away. So not everything can be learned by YouTube videos. Get the book as a hard copy or as an audio book. It's really worth it. Thank you to all my Patreons. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And see you soon.